Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with creating something directly inside of the portal. And the first thing I'm going to start with is I'm just going to go ahead and click on new where I have in the bottom left hand corner, I click on new, you'll see that plus sign, which is going to tell you that you need to do something. And I'm going to go ahead and select dashboard. So I'll click on that. And the first thing that's going to come up is it's going to ask me, you know, what sort of template do I want to create? So I'm going to create something very quick just to show you some of the capability that you can do at a very high level from a dashboarding perspective. And you can see that it's going to open up a little bit of a dashboard. And once I've connected to that, uh, to that template, it's going to ask me to select a source. So I'm now going to go ahead and connect over to my source that I've created for SAP Business One, which is in the form of a package. So I'm going to connect to that package that I have, and I'm going to add that to the model. So I'm looking inside of here and I can see what's there. And if I click on the little arrow sign next to the order book, you're going to see all of the information that becomes available. You're going to see information such as calendars. And inside of calendars, you're going to have your calendar as well as your relatives. And inside of your calendar, you're going to see your year, your quarter, your month. And if you're looking at things by fiscal, you're going to have your fiscal calendar that's available for you as well. So you can look at things in both areas as you see fit. So you pick and choose the option that you want, and that'll determine, that'll give you the ability to look at the information uh, in different perspectives. Now, we also have the concept of relatives. That's going to give you the ability to look at things when you're talking about year to date, and prior to date, and month to date, and so forth. So it's going to give you that sort of capability to work with the information. Okay. So moving along into the model itself, you're going to see other information, things like salesperson. You're going to see things like items. And if I open up items, you're going to see things organized into general, cost cell, and supply, and so forth. And if I open up the general area, you're going to see things as it relates to the item description, the item family, the status, the supplier, as well as a variety of cost and selling information that's available to look at, or supply information as it relates to last purchase cost or minimum order quantity or on-hand quantity and so forth. So there's a lot of different information that becomes available to work with, as well as information on your customers as it relates to ship tos and bill tos and opening up the bill to, things are organized. And I can see things as it relates to general, where I can look at the bill to customer description or the bill to customer group and so forth. So I've got a lot of information that's available that I can work with and pull into my dashboard. So the first thing that I'm going to do in regards to creating my dashboard is I'm going to go over to my sales credits area. And as I spoke earlier, you would recall that I told you that Sales information and credit information inside of SAP is coming from two different areas. But inside of our reporting database, we've consolidated everything into one cohesive place. Now, if I open it up, I have my document information. So that's more at the header level. And I've got information at the line level. But what I want to focus first and foremost is on my line key figures. So if I open up my line key figures, I'm going to see all my metrics that become available to me. And these are all standard out of the box metrics. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my net sales and I'm going to go ahead and just bring it into the top left corner. And you'll notice that I'm going to be able to do the drop area that's in the blue. I'm just going to drag and drop it there. And what's going to happen is that information is going to automatically get populated for that. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of my other measures, which is gross profit. And I'm going to bring it right over here into the top right. I'm going to populate the other two while that's loading as well. I'm going to bring in discounts. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in commissions right next to it. Now, I have a way to be able to format these measures if I want by just clicking on the measure itself and going to the format icon that's right here, clicking on it and saying that this is a number and I want to abbreviate it. So instead of showing 83,171,622, I'm going to change that to show up as 83.2 million. I can do the same thing to one of the other measures as well. And just click on that and do abbreviate. And I can theoretically do it for each one of them. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I bring things into context. So I'm going to go back to where I had my items. 
in my general area and I have my item family, which some of you might refer to that as item group. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just bring that right onto the canvas just below here and just let it go. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna show you all of your item families that are available to you. Now looking at this, I now have the ability to click on something like LED drivers. And once I click on LED drivers, watch what happens. My information changes specifically for LED drivers. So again, it's filtered within context. So now what I'm gonna do is rather than continuing to complete this dashboard, I'm gonna show you a completed dashboard so you can see the exact same kind of dashboard that is what we're looking at for um, this particular case. So you can see that I have all my information that is very, very similar at that $83.2 million with 27.4 million of gross profit. But again, same kind of concept, I can click on LED drivers and that information is going to specifically change for that. I can go even further and say, well, I want it for a specific salesperson and I'll click on AFS agency and it's gonna further filter the information and showing me my information. And I can see the breakdown on the top left that's showing me what my net sales are by year with Crow's profit and it's showing me my customer groups that make up that amount for 503K. But if I wanted to focus just on 2017, I can click on 2017 as an example. And that 128K is gonna show up over here and now my customer groups are making up just for that. So that's a way for you to work with a fully interactive dashboard. And again, you can pick and choose more than one column. So if I wanted to choose not only LED drivers, but also include LED floodlights, I can just control click and it's gonna start adding up that information. So for every one that I want, it's all there, okay? So that's really how you're going to work with the dashboarding side of things.